All right, see you guys later, man. Let's continue. Damn, one stream crash and that much of a hit? Shit, I hate when that happens. So guys, if you can hear me, please, please help me out with the stream. Retweet, tell your friends and family, let your Facebook friends know. Make sure that ex-girlfriend that you has such a hard time getting together with knows that Koopa is streaming Phoenix Wright. Maybe it should be like, ooh, Phoenix Wright, that gets me into a very romantic mood. Let me get back together with you. Like, okay, perfect, right? Makes total sense. You can go ahead and do that. If you don't have a Twitter or a Facebook, you can give a call to all your friends on that smartphone of yours. Go like, dude, dude, man, I know we just met yesterday at the bars, but there's this guy streaming Phoenix Wright. We should watch it. It's totally spectacular, man. You do that, right? And then we'll be good to go. You, you'll be doing your friend that you met at the bar a favor. You'll be doing Koopa a favor. And then you, you'll be helping Finest Kill out. How do I use Luminol? Maybe if I mash harder, it'll work. Yeah, I don't quite see that from there.
missing a piece. What an awkward kind of jar. Do you guys know how to turn on luminal? Automatic, so I can't use it yet. Second number? It's Edgeworth's number. Why was he here? That's some serious business. Let's go. Tell me about it. Or not.
anything else I'm missing? I examined the paint already. I think that's... I think it's everywhere. That's your report? What is that? That's a, a good choice. Let's go talk to Edgeworth. What are you doing here, bellboy? You don't remember? The 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 hotel thing. How very classy. Just say that he sent you that, okay? Um, Edgeworth. Tell me about the inquiry guy. about tomorrow's trial. What, really? 
so you're no longer have any effect. Here, I'm gonna present you some information. You tell me what you think, okay? First, how about this this knife? Tell me about it. Your best evidence. Maybe this? Like, why were you here? Last case of Edgeworth brought back to his office. Um, okay. AI sixteen. One thing I really want you to tell me about. Fine, be that way. Asshole. He's not here anymore. What happened? He's gone? Huh. Now I don't know where to go. Well, first, why aren't you here anymore? She's just gone. That's kind of awkward. Maybe I go back to Edgeworth. Maybe there's something I missed. Can you talk about anything? Nothing, huh? Anything awkward in your room that I can examine? Nothing in particular. Is there something I didn't send you that's important? Distant? Allegations of forgery. Did you really do this?
What do you want to know? Oh, is that fingerprints? You're the best. Exactly where to go. Oh, he's gone. That's odd. Reminds me of the of that powder they put on pretzels. Uh, sour cream and onion. There we go. at the locker door again closely. You mean this thing here? person who left this print Really? 
fucking gumshoe. Yeah, to the left, right? over here. Alright, once again, I'm going to ask for your help, guys. It's because of you, we stream. So, if you could help retweet the stream, whether it be on your Facebook, your Twitter, telling your friends through text messaging, maybe you can even tell them through Skype, anything. If you could tell anyone via Twitter, Facebook, Skype, text message, or phone, I would appreciate it. Tell them that now we are on Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Uh, trial 1-5... And we're in the courtroom. That's when it gets hype, okay? If you have any money and you would like to help donate to the stream, you can donate at tinyurl.com slash donatefko. Also, we have a Facebook and a Twitter, twitter.com slash finestko and facebook.com slash finestko. You should follow us there if you would like to know when I start streaming or any other particular streamer starts streaming. And last but not least, I do have a Twitter account as well. If you enjoy any of my streams, I sometimes put tweets up. Uh, Twitter.com slash Vase Koopa if you are bored and would like to know what I think when I go to school. 
I'm eating a burger right now. <laughs> okay. I will be back shortly. I'm getting a glass of water. I will be back in 45 seconds. It won't take too long, okay? So once again, the information to retweet is on the flyer. I'll be back. And I'm running commercial. And I am back. I'm going to go ahead and tweet this on to Finest Kill so people know that we are streaming the courtroom case now. And we are now ready. Prosecutors wearing the awesome uniforms, you know? I want something like that. Stained fingerprints. Yeah, pretty much. I don't know what you're hiding. I can't believe my own client is lying to me, but. I'm going to defend you, okay? Let's do this. Or maybe you're being maybe you're being honest. You really did kill him. I don't even know anymore. The defense is ready, Your Honor. What is it? it takes 30 minutes by car to reach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Alright, now I am no longer looking at the chat, okay? No kidding, jeez. Who's your witness gonna be? What? You mean... <sighs> Meekins? This was a bad choice. Please don't scream into the mic. It hurts me. Physically. You know what? Just do me a favor, Judge. Just smack that gavel. My client is innocent. Let's just go. I don't care if this guy goes to jail. Pretty sure I know exactly where to. Oh my god. Okay. At the cost of my own sanity, I'm gonna press you more. It. Mr. Meekins, you work in the General Affairs Department, do you not? Uh... That was it? Spotted a suspicious man on the security screen and rushed into the room. Okay, that's pretty simple. HOLD IT! Exactly, what is your ID number? Let's see. Bruce Goodman came here, you came at 4.50? It's four nine eight nine five nine six. Four nine eight nine five nine six. Okay, he came at four fifty. And he was already in there? Wait, what? Second time, gotcha. Huh, okay. Hold it!
did it? If you did it, why didn't you hold it? What exactly do you mean when you say you did it? Gotcha. Seriously? You took his knife? I... Uh, I see. <laughs> it... of your blood. HOLD IT! About what time did you regain your consciousness? Right, I guess that's fair. 5.30 is when you woke up, okay. Your mission? You mean the Blue Badger, gotcha. That's all? be recording, right? Objection! A video of a real murder. Just what are we getting ourselves into? Let's see. Well, man, what intense graphics we have here. You serious, man? Yeah, but you put it there where we could have solved the fucking crime. You are as useless as ever, man. Not sure I can find a contradiction yet. Let's see. Let's just press this guy. I don't think you're lying, I just think you're being an idiot. Huh, his face can't be clearly seen in the video. Hmm. I hope you have glasses, because you should be HOLDING IT! Tell me, were you able to get a good look at him? The face of the man who attacked you with a knife. What?
How could you not see his face? Well, that makes sense. You are looking up in the sky. Like there's no sky in this fucking building. Stop looking up. There's no question that the other person was Detective Goodman, sir. Huh. HOLD IT! Just like in real life, there's always save points, you know? Let's go. I guess that's a good deduction. It requires your fingerprints. Is there anything in particular that we found? Fingerprints specifically on the locker? I hope so. Seen the stabbing. He's stabbing there, and there's blood. So you stabbed him, maybe? Hmm. Wasn't he wearing gloves by any chance? Okay, what's this? Is he wearing gloves? Can I can I move can I move faster? Faster! Are you wearing gloves? Fucking video, you piece of shit! Who made this? Is he wearing gloves? I can't tell. Why is the camera moving? Are you wearing gloves? I I can't tell! Maybe This is the worst video I've ever seen in my life. Meekins, I hate you! I hope you die! HOLD IT! How about these lockers? Is there no other way to open them? Unquestionably, Detective Goodman's locker. I don't think I can deny that, but you can HOLD IT! How do you know that information? Rumors? Is there anything you have concrete at all? People in the know. Thank you. No one else could have locked it. Oh, rather unlocked it. I don't know what to open up yet. So you can hold it! Are we gonna say something? What is it? Is there a problem with security video? I thought there would be gloves. I don't see anything. Uh, scene of the stabbing of Detective... 
There's blood there. I don't see much blood in the video, but the problem is the video sucks so much ass. Jar piece, jar piece back together from fragments found the scene of crime. The piece is missing. Found the bloody hamper left in the evidence room. Nothing wipes. I can't believe I had to look at a stupid video. I can't believe I had to look at a stupid video again because I hit a button. Twenty-one, seventeen, fourteen, seventeen, fourteen, five, fourteen-ish. Okay. Now there's blood all over his jacket, which was the cut. Now it's twelve fifteen. I'm oh, sorry, five fifteen. So both entered around 514, which is one more time, 514 is when they entered. It is now 514. On 21st. I think there's a problem with what's shown on the tape. What do you think is Evan? What do you think it is? Rather than with the actual tape itself, what's shown on the tape rather than the actual tape itself? What's shown on the tape? The real thing's so much more intense than the real yeah, no. Sort of. What a stupid piece of evidence. Just get off the stand. Something wrong with the tape. I don't see any blood on the floor, but I can't. It's a problem. Oh, it has to be black and white. And he opens the locker room with a light on. Okay. He comes in here. He gets blood splattered onto his outfit, his jacket, whatever. Opens with his right hand. Something falls on the floor. A piece of paper. He's coming in like an idiot. Why didn't you die? Um, approaches him. Slashes with his right hand. What kind of knife was that? Was it this knife? Either this knife or that knife, but I'm not able to tell. Maybe that's it. Well, let's try. Hold it! I said, hold it! There we go. There's a problem. 
problem? Regarding the video contained on this tape, there is one thing in particular that seems rather strange. This contradiction leads to the possibility that... The man may not be Detective Goodman. I HATE THIS VIDEO! Where is a contradiction that indicates the man may not be Detective Goodman? for shit. Something drops on the floor. It's a piece of paper, I guess. Closer so I can see. Okay, so it's it's around here where he cuts. This cut right here leads to him having blood on his jacket. This song is driving me insane. Uh, this I guess, because I don't recall him having a blood stain on his jacket when I was at the crime scene. Take that!
So. <lacht> Play video again. This video sucks. Do we see his shoes? Oh, uh, oh, oh, best fight scene. Clearly contradictions here. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. This video sucked, I'm not even gonna bother. Cross-examine again. face can't be clearly seen in the video, but there's no question that the other person was Detective Goodman. Wait, wait, wait. But remember, why'd he... Why'd he brandish a knife on you when he was in... Do you have a statement to prove it or something? Well, I can call into question when... Other thing happened. Wait, a light indicates open boxes? A light indicates open boxes? What the fuck? There's a problem. Objection. Fucking here. The thing that's strange about this video has got to be this! Officer Meekins! As I understand, the locker apparatus works like this. When you grab the handle, a sensor reads your fingerprint. If the print matches, the registered data, the light turns on and the lock is released. If so, there's something seriously wrong with this picture. Faster. When the victim reaches for the handle to open the locker, let's rewind to a little earlier. Here, notice the light? Precisely my point, Your Honor. The locker was already open before the victim grabbed the handle! It's very simple, Your Honor. The locker wasn't locked on the day of the crime. See, <laughs> this isn't exactly my field. 
What do you think, Miss Scientific Investigator? Hmm. Maybe something jammed electronic system? That's actually good thinking. Thank you. Something jammed the sensor. I th think it might be this. What the hell is this thing? Please watch closely. This is the continuation of the part I showed you earlier. The fuck is that? Objection! We can't be sure that item was in the locker to begin with. The sensor triggers the lock when the door is shut. What if something was inserted, say, between the sensor and the door? This white thing was inside the locker. It was stuck between the door and the sensor. Insulator. Right, that makes sense. There just might have been something that fits the description. What was insulator that was stuck in the door? What was the... I found this near the locker, a thin rubber glove. It has a tag that says SO9 Incident. The video seems to depict the victim opening the locker. But that isn't the case. The lit lamp attested this. On the day of the crime, even I could have opened that locker. Is this not so, Officer Meekins? Prosecution will offer one more testimony to prove this. I hate you. Is this is a joke, man. All right. The music better be hype. I want you off the fucking stand. Good. Special cases? All 
All right. I'm getting you off that stand. Hmm. What's that one thing that could prove it? You should HOLD IT! So unlike your- <clears throat> So unlike your earlier testimony, you believe this to be rock solid, do you? One must use their ID card. Well, your ID card's around your neck. Why don't you HOLD IT?! Is that card hanging from your neck one of those ID's cards? Well, what if someone were to steal it from you, keeping it out in the open? Let's see. Okay. Right, there is. HOLD IT! Let it be noted that this is the record the witnesses referred to. Hmm. What's the matter? Punk color, kid. That's true. Hold it. Earlier, I believe you testified that when you asked the man to show his ID card, he pulled a knife on you. Don't you think that's odd? I mean, if he had his ID card, all he had to do was show it to you. There wouldn't be any reason to draw a knife. I'm not, I'm not too sure yet, hang on. The problem with ID card testimony is far too obvious. It's not like Edward to miss something like that. Is that obvious? Is it that obvious? Let me see. Found at prosecutor's office crime scene, so you can't use it. Last statement, probably? OBJECTION! Wait one moment, Officer Meekins. I have the victim's ID card right here. I found it at the scene of the crime. When I say crime scene, I'm not referring to the evidence room at the police department. I mean the other crime scene. The underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office! Your Honor, I have one more piece of evidence to present. It's a very important clue regarding the victim's ID card. But it shows that Detective Goodman had lost something on the day of the crime. Something important enough to fill out this report. I can't say for sure, but there's a high probability. On the day of the crime, Detective Goodman was not carrying his card! It can only mean one thing. It doesn't require much thought. The man Officer Meekins encountered in the evidence room 
was not Detective Goodman, but rather the man who stole his ID card. Bravo? a trap, didn't I? Because what he's gonna do, if I have this correct, is if I prove that this guy inside this evidence room is not the victim, then he could be at the parking lot. Alright, alright, that's worth a two. No, it's wrong! See, it's wrong! Fuck! Exactly what the victim also needs to encounter. I know, I know, hang on. Let me think. I think we have to use a trump card now. I can't believe it. Already? If I do that, then what does that even mean? Doesn't that make it worse? If I... <laughs> Are you saying, for me to protect... <laughs> for me to protect Lana, I have to prove that this guy is the murderer or something. Or something crazy. That's... Oh my god. What, what, what can I do? Hang on, let me think. I have to somehow prove that this guy, in the span of like, what, 15 minutes? He went from the evidence room all the way to the parking lot. If I can do that, <laughs> that's gonna be really stupid. But. His death is at 5 30. Right. Are you kidding me? I gotta do something. One moment, Your Honor. Of course not. But I almost walked right into the prosecution's trap. This cross-examination has proven one thing and one thing only. The security video did not show the actual murder. As you can see, the blue badger is still dancing in front of you. However, it cannot be said that it is unrelated to the murder in the parking lot. Specifically, large amounts of blood traces were found in the evidence room. 
The fence demands further examination into the truth of this matter. Honor. The fence would like to request a specific witness. Someone we have reason to believe knows the truth. The truth behind the activities that took place in the evidence room. Officer Jake Marshall. He's in charge of the evidence room. I think we should hear what he has to say. Why are you looking at me like that? Huh? What do you mean? It was kind of like Drama City, so thank you. Drama Team! Uh, it's a good game. Huh. What, what, what? What is it, man? God! Oh, he talked to this guy. I was gonna say. What are you, Santa Claus? My name? SL9 incident. Excuse me, you are a witness? Jeb Bates, Neil Marshall, Marshall, huh? Rachel Moss, Jason Knight, Head Prosecutor Miles Edward, Witnesses Lana Sky and Emma. Emma's in the suit. Executive Investigators Gant and Lana. Head Investigators Bruce Goodman, Investigators Jake Marshall and Angel Starr. Really? This is something big. Dark killings. Ch 
shit, Emma, are you okay? Fuck, she ran out? Jake Marshall, Angel Star, Damon Gantz, Miles Edward. Not to mention Lana and Emma. Everyone involved in this case connects to those killings two years ago. This can't just be a coincidence. Fuck is this? I still don't have a clue. Let's see, February 24th. That's in 24 minutes. Once again, guys, if you're enjoying the stream, please follow. But not just that. Please retweet to your friends and family. Facebook them. Text message them. Call them on the phone. Call them on Skype. If they're all the way in Japan, let them know that Koopa is here to solve crime. And punish bad guys. Well, sort of. Yes, well, what about the fingerprints activated locks inside the evidence room? He's not being very helpful here. Exactly, do you keep an eye on the evidence room? You interred them? So, in actuality, you don't physically enter the evidence room. HOLD IT! But you made your rounds on the day of the crime, right? Um, I'm afraid I don't understand.
Right, two security systems. Camera and ID. But he doesn't count the fingerprint system? Uh, why doesn't he know that? HOLD IT! You used to be a detective, so you used the evidence room in the past, correct? And yet, you didn't know about the fingerprint locking mechanism? That's quite a... incredible. So some people actually don't know about it. I remember that. Street side saloon? You at a bar, dude? Man, you better hold on to your job. Let's see. Or you might lose it. HOLD IT! What were you doing in a place like that? At a... Really? statement's pretty strong. Well, I got some ammo right here, and you can HOLD IT! Out of ammo, Officer Marshal? Texans don't take orders from anyone. Everyone knows that. JFAX. Go ban someone. Hell is seven 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 seven. Is that a joke? What? JFAX can't ban anyone. I guess what this says is true. Let's see. Uh... Is there anything else I could use? Or I just gotta bust it out right away. I don't particularly see anything I could use besides that. I gotta lock him to the crime. But if I'm wrong, this is gonna be kind of awkward. Okay, I don't see anything else for this. It might be early, but I might have to use it. I still feel like maybe it's too early though. Is there something I'm missing? If I could tie him to that, that number at the very top, maybe I could do something, but at the moment I can't see him. It might be early. If it's not this, it might be this. Let's give it a shot. OBJECTION! <laughs> Officer Marshall, doesn't it strike you as odd? That is, you being called in to testify like this.
After all, you weren't in the security room at the time of the crime. It's quite simple. You left a very large trail behind at the scene. Or to be exact, a handprint. I only wish it were, officer. But you see... Your fingerprints were covered in blood! The blood was wiped away. However, a luminal test clearly revealed this. Well, Officer Marshall! How do you know the murderer was wearing gloves? Well, at the same time, you're saying the murderer was wearing gloves? I don't... Let's just move forward. Let's see what happens. That's because you, how would you put it, pay your respects once a month? So then, what about the bloody handprint? HOLD IT! The chances of that happening are a million to one! Bloodstain and the fingerprint are completely unrelated. Maybe that one. HOLD IT! 
unrelated. How do you know that? HOLD IT! How do you know that? Uh, okay. That's right. It was found on Detective Gunshu's locker. Y yes, Your Honor. Hold it! What do you mean by that? Well, that video is next to useless. It's full of blind spots. Places you can't see. The camera's panning back and forth. The floor isn't shown. If someone was familiar with the camera's position, he could leave the room without being caught on tape. Objection! Knife look familiar at all? And then the question is, why isn't he shown afterwards? He had to have known about the camera. Marshall might have been wearing that that coat, I guess. I don't exactly have evidence, but I'll try. Very well. Allow me to point out your mistake, Officer Marshall. I only think of two spots, the knife itself or when he disappears. And I think that knife might be familiar. Is it the one he's using? Either the knife itself, or when it disappears. That kind of logic should be able to work. Let's... Actually, I think this might be the best shot. Let's go with the knife first.
Okay, so it's not the knife. Let's try when he disappears now. So that knife isn't the one he's using. Either this statement or the video can't do anything with the statement at all. Something to prove that it is connected. But there is a fingerprint there. There was a fingerprint, I'm pretty sure. It was the bloody handprint and the fingerprint together as if they were possibly one. I guess I can shoot for it. OBJECTION! No, I got it wrong. Okay. okay. So it's not that. So I'm gonna go back to the video and give that a shot. So then, back to the video. Oh, didn't you know the murderer was wearing gloves? This, this thing too is bothering me. All these statements. The murderer was wearing gloves. How do you know that? Is that true? I can't tell in the video. HOLD IT! I'm not sure if there actually is evidence in this video. I'm just... <laughs> I gotta give it a shot. Because I could explain logically that it's kind of awkward that Bruce happens to know about this camera angle here. Only a person who goes here often would know. And that might be Marshall. So after this scene, suddenly, he's gone. He's not here. Why is that? I can't, I can't show it like that? Okay, so... Let's move away from that, then. Let's go to a statement instead. How do you know that? How do you know that? How do you know he was wearing gloves? Because I can't see in the video. Can I use that instead? Or, um... And I never said anything about him wearing gloves. How do you know that? So it's either the video again, or it's this. How do you know that? Shit. I'm investing all my time in this stupid thing. Let's go with this. OBJECTION! You don't know? FUCKING STUPID! Look at the evidence again. Beginning. Okay. No, what the f I didn't do that on purpose! What the fuck? Goddamn Wiimote! At the same time, isn't it true that... No, I, I don't know.
How is he always wearing gloves? Well, it just happened to be at the same place as the bloodstained head. HOLD IT! Is that give me more information about just peg it? By chance. The murderer touched the locker where my fingerprint was by chance. Can I also possibly disprove that? I understand his fingers being there, but this should be around, say, the lever, right? God, are you kidding me? The blood stain and the fingerprint are completely unrelated. Well, didn't you know the murderer was wearing gloves? And last time I did, it was this. Glove? Or security video, and I can't tell. OBJECTION! Got it wrong, fuck. What is it? What is- I gotta find it somewhere. Is this something I'm completely forgetting? Let me think. You're wearing gloves too, you know. Damn. How do you know he was wearing gloves? I mean... The rubber glove? It shouldn't even help. Maybe he's confusing the murderer, right? Which is supposed to be Lana. Is she actually wearing gloves in this? I think she is. She's wearing gloves. any evidence that I can use to point out a testimony. Or is it a testimony error? So maybe there's something in here that I'm completely missing. What am I missing? Why the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. Why isn't there... Why isn't there that... That white thing? Hang on. What the hell? Go, 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 go. And it's still not there. Still not there. Still not there. It should be here now. Why is it here now? What is this? Take that! The fuck is that? Bringing our attention back to the security camera is a mistake I'm afraid you'll soon not forget, Officer Marshall. Uh... Very well. You can clearly be seen in this video! The key
key lies in a certain locker show in this video. Now then, let's rewind the video a bit back. There we go! When the crime took place, the white cloth wasn't there. Then, it suddenly appeared. There's only one explanation. Officer Marshall, you were in the evidence room at the time of the crime. What's more, you opened your locker when the camera was turned away. 